Um, this is pre-episode. I already did this, but I did this this morning. See, there's my proof that I got fourth place. Cha-ching! Hey, editor, zoom in on that. I'm so cool. All right. Don't mind that it's uh, the Blue Falcon. I'm not basic. And while you're at it, uh, show an image of like a stick figure version of Garrett with like a, a celebratory hat. Dude. Uh, well, hello. I think we're starting. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm Philip. This is Garrett. This is Damn Juice Bonsai. Hi, hi. And we're voting for Deathwind on Deathwind uh, F099. Okay, hypothetical. I've been holding this back. Oh right boy. All right. Wait. If if uh, so, there's always this like talk about AI being sentient or like computers being sentient. Okay. But how about this? The hypothetical is your computer is exactly as dead and not alive as it is currently. It's just a regular laptop. But there is a man that lives inside of your laptop. So, like, while you're, like, working and stuff like that and watching YouTube videos, he might walk onto the screen and be like, Yo, it's me, your boy. Uh, and he's like, How, he's how, like a- how much computer <laughs> use would you still have? Oh, shit. If you, if you had a little, <laughs> little man that, like, lived... <laughs> <laughs> like, like lived in your computer, but your computer functioned in its normal way. And sorry, and he couldn't control anything you did on your computer. He's just like there, and he's like, "Yo, bro." Occasionally, like you, like have like a little bit of thing. He's like aware of you in some way. So like, you he's he's probably small because you probably don't have a you probably don't have a like huge screen or anything like that. So you have this like weird handshake where you stick out a finger instead of a whole hand because you can't shake his Wait, hand. And, so you can like touch him through the screen though. No, you can just touch the screen and he's aware of you. It's like one of those things where like it's like glass at a zoo where like he knows he can touch the glass and you can touch the glass, but you can't actually touch each other. All right. Are you gonna, are you going to start like some weird like isekai like thing no, with this no, or like a, no. like a pseudo relationship where I you just, fall in love with the no, little man in your no. computer? I, I just I just want a better understanding. I just I just want to know. <laughs> All right. So, so like the hypothetical. So do can, how much would you use your computer? I don't know. First, I'd like I'd, I'd like try to poke him with a mouse. I guess. Like does, is a, if like would he does he physically interact like if I like click and drag like yeah he knows something. what's happening on the computer he can't really control it he can just like be he's aware of what's happening All on the right. computer and he's aware of you through the glass and it like think about it from this perspective what would this do for like world loneliness like you're sad and lonely and then you're like oh man I don't know I guess I'm bored I'm gonna pull up some YouTube and watch some damage boost bonsai. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of the shittiest thing I could do right now, but at least it's something. <laughs> and, <laughs> and then the little man walks on screen. And he's like, yo, I love this episode. Let's watch it together. I mean, all right, that'd be kind of cool, I suppose. And when he, when you aren't on the computer, he's surfing the web on his own. Okay, well. He's doing his own thing. He's happy. He gets to live his I, life. He has like a little, like, little man girlfriend from someone else's laptop. <laughs> Wait, but so can he travel between laptops? Yeah, yeah, but Wait. whenever you're on your laptop, he uh, he gets summoned like a genie. Dude, this sounds like the dream job. How do I get this job? <laughs> yeah, upload my con- if you upload my consciousness to a computer, <laughs> I need to be a little man on someone's laptop. Dude, okay, upload, don't upload don't my put me in the matrix to somebody's laptop. <laughs> I I will let you pay me, and I will like hang out and say silly things. I will like, bro, like like, wait, like, actually, no. Someone's like. Hey, little Garrett man on my laptop, dance for me, Garrett man, dance. And you're like, oh, okay. That's all right. Do, 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 I, do, I have do. experience with that in my in my days from when I was alive working retail. Yeah. Wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like, oh, yeah, <laughs> what kind of dance do you want me to do? Do you want me to do the dance for the manager where I go, yes, sir, of course, yes, you're my boss, whatever else. Or do you want me to do like the, the one that has a little dance, more soul? Like, yes, yeah. daddy. Yeah. You want me? <laughs> you want me to pull dance like your your uh my computer application? 
Wait, so do these little dudes have, like, free will and stuff, too, then? Yeah, yeah, they have free will. They live on your computer. They can mess with, like, they can stay on the programs and stuff. They just can't control what you do. Like, they don't All right, mess wait, but with your inner... Do they use, like, your browser history and stuff? Like, can they, like... They can look at it, but they so can't, they can, they can't like, mess with it. They can't okay. delete things. They but can't they can, add like, things. They can, like, look something up, and it'll look like you looked it up? Yeah, they're your oh, friend. no. Like, you can restrict it, though. It's like a real friendship. Okay, you so like, you can, no. like... You can Don't put go kitty in this con- folder. You and can put like, little man kitty controls on your little man. <laughs> you can put your little man kitty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, okay, so like you can name him or something even, and then he might to give you sass and be like, "No, it's not my name. I was online, and I want to be called like Mr. Drink Purple Drink, like Beast Man of all time, uh, Grump Arcade." Nice kill. Thank you. I killed him myself. Also. This game is awesome. This is we we by the way we did like no warming up for this. We just like jumped into a, a race. Like my, we my, could have prepped a little more. My <laughs> warm up was that first round where I laughed too hard and exploded. I don't think you were expecting me to talk about this. <laughs> I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, it's um. I mean, okay. So I, if, if he's cool, he's cool. But I'm like, I don't know. I, yeah, I'd, he's cool. I'd still be a little scared to just like. Can I like? Is, is he there, like, every time I'm on the computer? I mean, you can, like, like, let's say he's, like, a feature you can turn on and off, like, Clippy on Microsoft Word. Now, if you completely disable him, that just frees him up as a free agent for someone else to put on their laptop. Okay, so you can, like, release him to someone else? Yeah, sure. Okay, but, like, if, if you, like, temporarily turn him off, does he know? Uh, I mean, like, it... I think that we're going to assume that he is always very accepting of whatever you want. Okay. Like, he's so, not going to be controlled by you, but he, if you're like, I don't want you to be on my screen anymore, he's like, sounds good, bro. I'm going to go on to the other screens and peace out, yo, and just hangs out and does his own thing in the ether. I mean, all right. I mean, they, like, see, they I, seem pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, uh, it's like Wreck-It Ralph, that area between all of the pinball and stuff like that. That's what this little man is. He like lives in the ether. He's like, oh, looks like my owner's... Computer's on. I'm gonna go hang out there. He he kind of sounds like the cookies from. Have you seen Black Mirror? Oh no, not all of them. Tell me about cookies from Black Mirror. So oh whoa, my bad. Um, so in 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 Black Mirror, there's like little, more or less, they're just AI really. Um, but they're like artificial, self-aware people that are like put in computers and little devices to serve like. In, to automate a, a task, basically. Oh, okay. And, like... They, kind of they, like, you know, uh, an assembly line of, like, like sentient programs. Sort of, but it's, like, more, like, to run, like, simulations. Like, there's a... a date. There's one episode where they have a, a dating app, and you join the dating app, and it makes a cookie of you, and then it runs a bunch of simulated like dates with a bunch of the other members of that app to which find, are like, also doing the same thing yeah. they're doing their own simulated yeah. responses to like find like your soulmate or whatever but like and then it all it re, like they become re- aware that they're not the real them and you know they're like oh they're gonna turn us off you know and then they yeah. do and it's like wow that was dark but I mean or, or is it just like a, a Windows, like a, a Microsoft Word? Like, yeah, like it, Microsoft uh, Word like, knows you're going to turn it off when you close yeah. it. Or like, it literally runs a closing program yeah, app, like yeah. a script or something. Like, a, like it could be like that, or like Google Gemini is pretty cool. I like talking to Google Gemini. I don't know I, much about that, but isn't that the new stuff? There's yeah, so I, much cool. I talked to them when they were still called Bard. Oh, yeah. That's, so that's right. I thought it was only called Bard. I didn't know they'd call Yeah, it they changed else. the name recently. Okay. And they updated some some stuff. Yeah, they're still pretty cool. I think they also do art now, which I, I know a lot of people are really like reasonably like AI art's a touchy thing. But what's weird about that? Let me just say one thing that's super strange about like Bard and all the other things is if you try to talk to them instead of ask them for like help, where they scrape the internet and you're like, hey, how do I speed run like Super Mario 64? And they'll just give you a walkthrough and stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. But if you try to talk to you, you're like, "Hey, how was your day?" And it goes, "How do you want my day to be?" Like it, 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 it makes you make their half of the story. If you try to talk to one of those AI 
like okay, conversational. Yeah. You're like, hey, uh, maybe like, if it's not necessarily worded like that, but that makes sense. I don't know. I I feel like Google Gemini is usually they try to be pretty informative when you're like that. But do they have their own personality? That's what I always think is they always lack a personality and they want you to imprint a personality on them or something like. Yeah, they're just kind of polite. Yeah, they're so polite in a, in a way where it's like, yeah, you're boring. Not at least for me. Like they're just too nice. It's like, um, like I don't know. I, I could say to the AI or something like, "Hey, have you ever been teased in school? Because I was having some trouble getting teased today or something." And the AI will be like, "Yeah, I totally did, and it was really hard for me." And general conversation things, and you're like, "Yeah, that sounds fake." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, was that 51 votes on a 99 vote? Yeah, sick. yeah, it was like a. Um. Anyways, so too the, deep of a topic. Yeah, would the Let's little of would the little dude on the laptop kind of be like that, where he's just kind of like whatever you want him to be? I think that there are just little dudes that like you could like talk to. You could go to like the ether of all the little dudes, the little dude ether, <laughs> if you will, of many little dudes and dudettes. And, or dude is general gender neutral, so, like, just dudes, I guess. Yeah. Um, and you go there, and maybe you, like, talk to all the little dudes. Like, you're like, hey, you know, like, I'm hosting interviews for my laptop little dude. Yeah, who wants <laughs> to be my little dude? Yeah, and, and, and you won't be paid. Uh, you'll just be my little dude. You can <laughs> choose to apply, or you can choose to stay in the little dude ether. But what, and, so, like... And then what, you can, like, choose a little dude you like. What would it, what would be in it for them really though camaraderie like if i so let's let's say i upload my consciousness to be a little dude i okay. become philip the little dude on a computer <laughs> and i live in the philip little dude ether on my little dude computer then i i i don't know like i can hang out in the ether and hang out with the other little dudes for a while but at a certain point i'm like you know what like oh 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 Did i scare you there <laughs> no. uh sorry uh, so I, I, I might want to hang out with like, okay, so like, I want to hang out with the other people who are in the real world, you know, I, this is like a form of immortality that I live in little dude land. And, okay, I mean, sure. And I don't want to constantly be just hanging out with the other little dudes in the ether, so I might, you know, be like, oh, you know what, I'll go to some one of those, uh, laptop interviews and become someone's little dude, you know? <laughs> but imagine this, okay, so it, what if, what if God was able to look down on us, or if there is a god, or, like, ethereal creature, or, you know, Kragdu, or Cthulhu, or whatever it is. Spaghetti monster. I, I, I prefer Kragdu. Kragdu, <laughs> that is the formal name, I think, right? <laughs> I don't. Oh, no! Not okay. this time. You were very close. You had, like, one little uh, yellow dot away from doing it again. Uh... But I would, like, if there was, like, some ethereal creature who gets to watch us... Would you think it would be more fun if you could interact with them? And would you? Like, if there was, like, one area in Scotland you could go to, and there's a glass pane that no one could go to the other side of, but they could walk up to it, and they could talk to the ethereal creatures. Whoa. Would you? Would you talk to Cthulhu? Would you talk to, like, Vishnu? Would you talk to, like, whatever, like, the god is, or, like... I'd, the, I'd, so, I mean, the first, Celtic, like, things. First, I'd, like, so. I'd be nearby and, like, watch someone else do it. But not like, like I I don't know. Yeah, but you would try to right. be interested. So I would so be. If you I were would a little be. Dude, you'd be wanting to be on a laptop. That's true. You're right. You're right. Uh, okay, the little dudes out there that you are also, like, like choose a little dude who's like sassy. Like th there could be one that's like total shit. Like and he like moons you and he like flips you off and like I don't know. Some people can have like a little dude that satisfies their kinks or something. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, it, it is the internet. But like, you could be playing Elden Ring and be like, you know, I know Elden Ring is a solo game. I don't really play it with other people. And then your little dude's like, oh hey, we're playing Elden Ring. Sweet. And he just like chills <laughs> out, and you'd be like, oh dude, this guy's a total dick or whatever else. And you're like, you're right, little dude. <laughs> All right, no more little dude. And the, I think we've the, talked it out. Uh, we have. I think we've talked a whole episode of Little I, Dude. <laughs> I, I, I'm questioning my existence now. Like, 
F099. Yeah. The place where All you right. can question your existence. Speaking of questioning your existence, so we just hopped into the Night League. Yeah. Which is like the, it, I think like the easier leveling of the three Grand Prix. Yeah, and when the game first came out, it only had uh, just the King Cup or something, right? I, I think it had or all the, three. the Night League, but it, it didn't have the Queen League yet, I don't think, and whatever else. I, I think they're, they're like, they originally they were doing them by season. A lot of and people. now they like do them in a rotation. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely is just an addictive game. Oops. That's like very fun to like play. It is. It's it's a rush. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun. It's fun to watch. And I it, like it's been. This has been like very good session to last time when the game first came out. Oh, and we were just like goofing off and like having a fun time. But now it's like we're goofing off and having a fun time and talking about little dudes. <laughs> but also we're winning, like better than last time. I think for sure better than last time, even yeah. with our KOs and stuff like that. Or, sorry, us getting KO'd. Uh, Man, they, there have been They some... added, like, colors and skins for sure, though, or, like, people unlocked a lot more, so it's also kind of a more beautiful track Oop. to watch. Yeah, I've unlocked a lot more myself. So many people were just the, like, the classic blue for, uh, uh, what's the falcon called? The blue falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was so dicey. <laughs> hey, you're terrifying me. But, like, earlier you did this, like, jump off the cliff, and you're like, YOLO! And I'm like, uh, sorry, that's not a meme anymore. <sighs> just still, you did it. And you... Yeah, I don't really know if that actually gives me an advantage to compared to how I just did it, but... I don't, I'm it sure looks it cool. Is. I'm sure there's a... It looks like I live on the edge. Yeah. Like that guy right behind me. All right. Pretty sick. Pretty good first first race to the... I'm so close to S. Dude, what if I get S in this episode? What? Uh, is that just, like, experience? Yeah, it's... No, so the ranking is based on how many rivals you defeat each round. Okay, yeah. So if you don't defeat any, you go down. If you defeat some, you go up based on how many you defeat. Oh. So I'm, like, A-plus right now. I don't know if there's an S-minus. I mean, it's still S. Yo. But it's still S. Dude, viewer, if we hit S this episode, hit that thumbs up. Hit um, that S. Subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> if we don't... Um, I'm going to put a little dude on your computer. Yeah. Don't put a don't put a little dude on my computer. It, Sometimes it, I think there already is. <laughs> <laughs> what if there is already little dudes on our computer? They just don't get to talk to us yet. Dude, sometimes... What if, like, they're like, okay, in beta, we're going to... We're going to let everyone have their little dudes... And then we're going to take the data of, like, how it would have gone. And then, like, in five years from now, they're like, oh, those already existed. And you're like, what? <laughs> I mean, honestly, sometimes with, like, the way someone will try to explain how a computer <laughs> works to me, I'm like, so there's a little dude in there that casts magic spells. I think there's, like, a thing in the human mind that's, like, constantly imagining things that aren't there are there. Just I think constantly. we've always had it. <laughs> Like, like you're a child and you're looking in the closet that's clearly empty and you're like, monsters. There's so, monsters in there. So you're telling me there's a part of the human brain that's always just imagining little dudes. There's always a part. <laughs> and, and the little dude used to be in your closet and now he's on your laptop. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's a little dude in your head that makes little dudes. <laughs> You know what? Maybe the little dude was never on the laptop, but was inside us all along. Yeah. It was the little dudes we made along the way. <laughs> the little... <laughs> <coughs> the little dude's just... This is just the little dude episode. <laughs> yeah, it is. I don't know why. My let's let's not even way. call it F-099. We'll just call this episode the Little Dude episode. Ugh, <laughs> uh, uh, those red bumpers. I always and then, and then some people who are afraid of little dudes could have like little dogs and stuff. And they have a little dog that's on their computer like, Hey, I'm a little like dog and stuff. Like, they don't talk to you, they're just a dog. 
dude. They're there to be the emotional support, little dog. Imagine if you were that kid who looks in your closet and you're like, oh, there's a monitor in my closet. And then someone else is like at school the next day, you're talking about it. And they're like, oh, I have a little cute dog in my closet. He's cool and he's chill. And that's what I imagine. Like, <laughs> that's where my imagination goes. I don't have like this terrifying, I don't know. I dog guess we, in like, the, like wait, wait, why is the dog in the closet though? Yeah, I don't know. I, because the same way the monster's in the closet. All it's right. just imagination. All right, fair enough. There's a little like, it's bedtime, you're about to go to sleep, and you're like, you hear like a little arc, and you look in the closet, you're like, hey, and you're like, what is it, you? And oh, closet pupper at it again. <laughs> closet puppo. <laughs> closet puppo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I think there's like a part of us that wants to have like a, a, a goofy, fun time. And so we have a cool, fun imagination thing that we do. And we imagine cool things, but then there's a part of our brain that like goes, but what if? And then it goes down a dark place and you're like, no, help, help me from myself. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we have it like our yeah, whole lives. You're right. It's that like child, like there's that child within that gets obliterated by society. Oh, uh, by the way, those of you watching this episode, uh, if you've gotten to this point, it was actually secretly uploading a little dude to your computer. He is there. So much appreciated. I'll just be chilling. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's the only time you'll hear him. Uh, but don't be too afraid. <laughs> just, he's he's just not terrify our viewers. Yeah, he, he's not like Monica from a Doki Doki no, Literature Club or anything. Not like at all. That. No. No. Don't fact, even. He's going he's gonna to secretly organize some of your files. You're right. not going to know which ones, but your computer's going to work just a little better. Yeah, and, and those times when you like feel like, oh, I didn't mean to close Microsoft Word without saving my you know, essay. I need to, to do like really well in this class and stuff like that. You're like, why did I do that? It's not the little dude brainwashing you. No. It's not. In fact... Don't even That's worry about it. That's your own fault. It. You're a human. If, if you if you if you if you if you accidentally do something like that, the little boost boy on your computer is actually there to help you retype it. <laughs> little boost boy. Yeah, the little boost boy that you can install on your computer. How did we go from like making this little fun concept to terrifying everyone listening to this? <laughs> like, like, I mean, like, honestly, to me, it was a terrifying concept from the beginning. Oh, I thought it was so cool. I mean, it could be cool, but also like. It's Maybe scary, I'm just a like, really lonely uh, guy who needs a little dude. Maybe I'm just like a doomer, but like... <laughs> a doomer. Yeah. I was born back in the 1940s, and I doom everything I boom. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, do the, 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 uh, the fearful evolution of the boomer is the doomer. Wow, you're right. And no. No, nah, it's not. It's like some other thing. The fearful evolution of the, the boomer is the uh, politician. Uh, <gasps> uh oh. All oh, my all, all my politician viewers. Stop watching me, us. Hit me up. And, hit me up in your DMs. But I'll if, be there. Ac yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hit me up in your DMs. <laughs> they like message themselves like uh, hey me, how's it going? And then there's a response from Garrett. It's just and it like says, a, "Yo, stop like this, talking to yourself, bitch." This close up of like my face and his, my eyes are all bloodshot, and I'm like, "Hello, hello." And, and you're like, "Oh like, my gosh, who are you?" You're like, "A little dude." <laughs> <laughs> and then I click on the X on the window. <laughs> Don't hit that X. Don't hit that X. No, I'm dying. No. no. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> You're they're like, oh my god. I, no. Bleh. Closing the program. <laughs> my one weakness. <laughs> <laughs> I should have thought of this again before I became a, a guy who haunts politicians. <laughs> uh. Uh. Wow. Nice. Wait, I think this was... You are uh, slaying it. All right, we got two more races. Two more? Okay. And this is this is the... The, es the Espertunity? Yeah. I mean, maybe. If I if I keep doing good, I might get there. Oh, man. Nice. I'm That'd be so cool. Overall rank 20 on the board. I'm like... 100 points behind. Pretty decent. Pretty decent. Totally decent. 
The decist. The decist. <laughs> <laughs> It is kind of fun, like, doing the the Grand Prix and just kind of watching the amount of people just shrink the further you get. Oh, yeah. It, in some ways, you were talking about things that terrify you. That's something that terrifies me is, like, knowing that, that, that like, groups dwindle with time. Like, it, it's just, that's, I don't know, that's, the, the fact that, like, I start overthinking that exact sentence I just said, <laughs> it's like... Oh my god, it's not just F099. And I'm like, no. <laughs> and I'm like, it's just a game. It's just a game. It's just a game. It's just a game. And Darwin's like, eh. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Do you think Darwin ever had like a, a goofy side that liked that kind of stuff, like messing with people? He's like, you know, it's survival of the fittest. And like, blah, 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 blah. And like, there's something about birds in Australia and whatever else, and then, like, he would mess with people and be like, you know what? Now that I've got my paper published and it's been accredited, I just want to let you know. And he, like, goes up to someone who's like, I don't know if you have what it takes. And you're like, oh, my God. Oh. And he, like, go, walks away. He's like, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and you're like, Darwin, are you messing with me? He's like, oh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> You can totally survive of the fittest. You know, like, oh, you d- Darwin. Actually, yeah, I, I think I remember reading something about Darwin doing pranks like that. It's funny to it's think about like other something famous like, people. Not necessarily, like, to that level, but, like, he would be, like, <laughs> he would, like, tease his friends about challenging them to see whether they're fit enough. And then he, he made this game that he would have them play <laughs> together. Oh, yeah? It was called F-Zero. It was, it was basically natural selection at its finest. Oh, actually? Now, now you're making me existential again. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. But I like to imagine Dar- all these I people that him. have come up with theories like Pythagoras and stuff like that. At some point, they were a little trolling little shit in their time. You're you know, so they, right. They were like sassing their mom or dad, and they were like doing kick flips. And, oh, 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 oh. Either, either way, that was, that was like... I just got that naturally selected. I, I I was trying to get that guy, but he somehow had another boost and got away. Oh my gosh. Get me out of here. Oh, didn't have to watch the last round. <laughs> Freedom. Nice. All right. All right. I don't care about my points. What rank am I? I don't care about my points. What are my points? <laughs> well, thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> See y'all later, little dudes.